Hi guys. Okay, we are back. This video is going to be about just like a real quick catch up, but also asking you guys what you guys want to see because I've been mapping out kind of content. Thank you everybody for your patience while I launch my course and do all the work for it. Um, I have so much respect for content creators and course makers because that... I was very... my eternal, eternal fault is that I am so optimistic about everything that can fit in to my schedule at any given point in time. I was like, of course I can continue to fit in like my regular client workload of like 30, 40 hours on top of a course, on top of my YouTube filming, on top of a hobby, on top of everything. <laughs> Always. I have like no concept of actual time. And I'm like, of course I can fit it all in. Like, <laughs> duh. I like had a full-time college and like two internships and two full-time jobs like this is nothing I don't know how I survived that period honestly looking back but like so I turn off that's like my bar and I forget now I'm like 31 and like all-nighters I'm like <laughs> doesn't work anymore anyway thank you guys for your patience you guys are amazing I appreciate you for st still being here my subscriber number didn't plummet to zero which honestly would I respect you know um, but we're back. Content is being outlined, but I thought I would just ask you guys, like, what you want to see. I mean, one, if you just have straight up, like, a topic, opinion, thoughts, you can drop them below. I have, um, some series ideas, because I know that in the YouTube world, having, like, series helps mainly the creators because then you're like okay it's the last day of the month I'm gonna film my favorites like it just helps you create like a whole system and process so I have some ideas that I thought I would run by you so you can vote on what are your favorites cool <laughs> I'm also gonna be putting like the actual voting system on my Instagram stories which are gonna I'm not gonna say like they're gonna start being popping you know because that's that's setting the bar a little high but um an effort will be given so that that's where the bar is at for Instagram right now because it's in my priority hierarchy it's probably like number 20 so but we're getting there it will be there if you follow to follow me there you will see it um but ideas and you can let me know below if like they sound interesting um yes I am still doing the overthinkers copy tours I or like workshop I don't know how it's gonna be so if you said yes I I love that idea I think everybody overthinks copy too much and it's just kind of like a like hour or two quick start like get creating kind of thing that is just coming but um kind of like a series idea on deciding if copywriting is right for you that may just be like a webinar or some kind of like quick access kind of con like not that I don't think that's really a series but I think that's an issue that a lot of people are struggling with especially with everything going on in the world right now a lot of people are freelancing and they're like I don't know should I be a copywriter because it's one of those things that's hard to just guess without kind of getting your hands dirty with it um yes okay there's that um the next one is I've been reading I've been deep diving into Cal Newport's work as I do because I love him and um, I, I know I talked in one of my recent videos about how it was like finishing so good they can't ignore you and I was reading it again because it's golden you should read every one of Cal Newport's books top-notch quality content um, but he has a part in there about deliberate practice which is really just not like oh I'm practicing copy but like I'm actively getting better with like every session and like every month I'm setting goals and I'm writing things that are hard and complicated and some kind of series idea around like documenting how you could do that with copy aka I also want to do it for myself obviously I've been doing it forever have I posted in the last few years because I pick clients that I know I'm already good at writing like about and for like industries and topics and I'm like I know what works here and I haven't really like challenged myself in a hard way when it comes to copy in a while or like produce so much content that like I'm pushing myself to my limits I would like to do that I'd like to make my work a little harder and <laughs> as I just ranted about how I have no time that's fine I will make this work um I don't know if that's something interesting I think every beginner needs to one 
read that book, so do they can't ignore you. Like you just need to read it in general because it will change your life in terms of your career and your business and a reframe of chase your passions and you'll be a billionaire, you know, kind of content. Um, maybe I may just do that anyway because I'm very, because I, because I want to and I feel like the public accountability will like help me do that. Cool. Okay. That's a thing. Um, Another idea was book reading of all of the big marketing like books and ideas out there. I mean some of the copy ones, some of them are just so annoying. I don't even know if I really want to subject myself to them again, but <laughs> shots fired. Um, but like reading them and then like summarizing them. I, I'm not going to say like a book club because I feel like that's like a lot of moving parts to manage at once, but kind of like here's the book I'm going to be reading over the next like month or two about marketing and then like I'll talk about it and like give cliff notes and like what I think words like things to take from it. I don't know. You let me know. Um, mainly also because I need to up my reading game which ties into the deliberate practice part. Improve my skills even though I've been doing this for 10 years. You just always can keep getting better at anything forever until you die. That's my plan. So, um, I had my business building series. I don't know if that's interesting to people who are interested in still seeing like how I'm slowly building my career from like, I'm a freelancer and I get like paid for this into like, I'm building it more into like a whole system and like a little bit hands offy. Maybe interesting, maybe not. I'm, I mean, I'm going to keep doing that regardless, but I don't know if documenting it as, as interesting as my brain thinks it is. Um, Monthly favorites, of course, because every YouTuber has monthly favorites and it's just like, maybe like favorite copy I have stumbled across. Maybe my favorite books, articles, throwing ideas out there. We just, by we, I mean, I just sat and made a little list. Um, uh, analyzing copy out there in the wild. I've always had kind of like a little brain dream of having businesses send in copy that I could just like review for a video because content and then they get reviews. But I don't think I have enough like poll and subscribers and like content and like to do that. Like most people who follow me are copywriters and writers and it, I mean I could I guess review a copywriter's website. But would that be as interesting? I don't know. Um. Lukewarm on that one, so maybe I'm thinking I will just find, like, copy out there in the wild. Not from, like, small businesses, just that I feel like that maybe, like, it may come across meaner. Maybe, like, bigger businesses. Like, tar like Target's not going to get offended if I'm like, this sales page sucks. You know what I mean? Like, Target's not going to come for me. They're not even going to know who I am. But, like, a small Etsy pin shop owner may be like, that hurt my feelings. You know what I mean? Like, I don't... That kind of energy. Anyway, those are my ideas. Um, if you have some other ideas that you would like to see or something that you think would be an interesting series, um, trying to expand. Um, you know, I, you know, I, like I said in one of my other videos, I want to get into like storytelling. So I had to do like my favorite storytelling marketing things I have found. Um, books on that. Video games and movies and stuff that like play into storytelling and like the elements they use and like why it's so interesting. Thanks guys. Okay, that's it. Thank you for your patience. Um, while I, while I brain dump everything I've ever learned into this course and that's pretty much it. New content is coming. I will take all your ideas. I will take it and pair it against what I want to do. <laughs> and we will officially be, my, my goal is April to get on a very, very consistent schedule again. Thank you everybody for your patience. You are all amazing. Um, thank you everybody who's in the course. You guys are kicking ass, really, truly. I can't believe how like, I'll like send a lesson and then like the next day there's like ones written and I'm like, damn, okay, I need to step up my game. <laughs> <laughs> damn all right which I love um anyway just mentioning that by the way I do like I think most of you know but just in case there's like I have a free discord group and facebook group down below I'm at I 
effed up and I hadn't checked my Discord in like two weeks. I'm so sorry. It was a dead quiet, like there were tumbleweeds rolling by for months and then all of a sudden there were people in there and I was like, ah, people, things. So there's always those groups, like I don't want to make every access to me just like, oh, you didn't pay, but you can if you want. Imagine that uh, my power hours are back up. I took it down while I was like trying to film the course because I just didn't have time for like chatting with people, but that's back up. Anyway, cool. Thank you guys. You guys are amazing. I promise better lighting. I will attempt to not just wear black in every single video from here on out. I'm actually more recondoing my entire closet and like I haven't, <laughs> this is how I know I need <laughs> to switch up my schedule. I'm just like, let's just take every piece of clothing I own and throw it in my bed and then like declutter it. That sounds really inspiring today. Cool. Okay. <laughs> all the projects. Spring is here, guys. Okay. Thank you all for your comments in advance. I appreciate you. I'll say it a hundred times because I really, really, really do appreciate you guys. This is wild that people are here and ever care about my opinions on anything. So thank you guys. Goodbye.